Hi everyone from India, sending love to the whole world. And today I'm speaking about uh, how to manage your emotions in the lockdown and what to do with the emotions. And for those of us who have a spiritual uh, practice, yoga or meditation, uh, this may be a complement for that. Um, I do have a two hour yoga practice every morning, so um, it's very important that you move your body throughout the day. It's like uh, the body has so many ways of telling us that when, when it's feeling like, you know, too like closed down or like a little stiff or, and when the body goes stiff, the mind goes stiff. So um, I'm going to speak in this video about uh, a meditation that I learned uh, many years ago, even before my uh, yoga practice started. And this meditation is about uh, going into your emotions and feeling and crying and screaming and letting those emotions uh, come up to the surface. Because otherwise we are carrying all those emotions and after all these days of lockdown we are all feeling pretty shaked up. And some of us may feel like we don't have an outlet for it. Maybe our yoga practice is there but um, maybe we need something that may trigger a little bit more of this and, and that's my gift to you today. So I'm going to be sharing some music with you. This meditation is meant to be done with music but um, not every music is, is meant to be used for this meditation. How can I say? There's a lot of music that has a lot of illusion in it. It's the music about the drama and the view, the music about, you know, the pain and the separation and the tragedy and like that music is not really helpful because it will just put us even more into that mode of negativity or fear or like loss and like we need to use music that is uplifting, energetic and also music that takes us into the grief but not only uh, into our personal grief but into the just the deepest grief of being a human being and being a mortal being and, and all this uncertainty that is always there as, uh, as we are. And, and these times of quarantine are really putting us in touch with that mortality. And everything that is happening around us, the fear of death and, and all this uncertainty is really taking us into our deepest uh, nightmares. So this meditation is going to maybe help you. you. You need to try it. And this meditation comes from the lineage of Osho. And Osho was a master that said that uh, we need to move the body to be able to access the meditations. And yeah, if you're doing already your exercise and your yoga practice, that's, that's going to be very useful and complimentary. But maybe you want to try this meditation when you, you feel you started like to lose control or you feel you are too like shut down or, or you're sad but you're not able to cry and this may help you. So that's why I'm sharing it with you. So the first part of the meditation is about opening our emotional bodies. And we have a mental body, we have a physical body and we also have an emotional body. And this body becomes very uh, like charged with all the negativity around us becomes also like turbulent because we are living times of fear and uncertainty and separation from our loved ones or separation from our countries of origin. There's, there's so much happening. There's also fear of, you know, scarcity. There's not going to be enough food. What is going to happen? Are they going to vaccinate us all? You know, can we go back to our lifestyle? Where are the planes? Where is my car? I want to have a cup of coffee. All those like um, small luxuries that now become really wow like you know like luxuries is is so interesting we're all living such simple lives at home cooking at home like just being very simple in our lifestyles and and there may be this like anger why do I have to be here why do I need to be locked down I want to go run I want to go see my friends I want to go have a cup of coffee, I want to have a glass of wine, I, I miss my life. So, yeah, there's a lot of frustration inside. So the first part of the meditation is for that. So for the meditation, you need uh, some toilet paper or clinics, you need a bottle of water, you need a pillow, 
You need a big towel and you also need a notebook and a pencil or a pen. And with all that, you're going to find a space in your home where you can be on your own. And you're going to have your phone and your earphones because we don't want to make noise with this meditation. We want to meditate in a very, um, let's say, private way. We don't want to scare people around us. We don't want to create havoc in our homes or in our you know, condos or apartments or wherever we are. Unless you live by yourself in this huge like farm that there's no one around, just the cats and the cows, um, do it with your headphones. And then in the playlist, um, I made one playlist in only in Spanish. Uh, for those of you who are Spanish speaking, it's, it's music that is very touching and is very deep. Uh, and I also made one playlist just for grief and sadness. And you just start, you know, going deep, praying as you listen to the music. And, and if tears come, you let them go. If tears don't come, you start screaming in your towel. And, you know, you place one part of the towel here and another one in your mouth. And you just simply scream. And, and scream as long as you need to so the emotion starts rising. And during the whole meditation, you're praying and you're asking God or love or awareness, however you want to call it, for help. So you can really access deep what is going on inside of you. Because we all can go very shallow, you know, in the, in the news or just speaking to people. Or like, we can get diluted in the energy that it, it's, it's vibrating very, like, uh, intensely now around fear and around uncertainty and recession and economical havoc and, and all that is happening. So we want to go into our emotions with this music and just uh, move through them. We want to feel them. We want to cry. Give yourself permission to cry. It's, it's a situation where we all need to cry. If we are like this, like stuck, no, I'm strong, I can make it. You know, no, give yourself permission to just simply fall apart. It's very important for all of us because in that falling apart, something new is going to rise. So that part of the meditations can go for, you know, the grief and the sadness and can go for half an hour, for an hour. When I started doing this meditation, it was sometimes four hours just grieving and like feeling the pain and whatever you need to, st you know. And then at some point, you're going to feel the need to stand up and start moving the body and move the body. And you can just like, you know, feel your body you're gonna be always with your eyes closed this is not dancing lessons or anything and this is like moving the body deep from your awareness and in this second part of the meditation you're gonna let go and that's the name of the second playlist is called let go let go is just you're gonna surrender everything to a higher power we don't know where we're going any of us this is for sure but um, in that surrender you're going to find a lot of uh, ecstasy and the music is electronic so it's going to just bring you a lot of energy and then you can stay there for as long as you want um, going really intensely into your body is going to help you access and move energy around move emotions also at some point you're going to just feel like sitting down you're probably going to be sweating and you're going to be like your heart is racing and just calm down and go into your breath and this is where the third part of the meditation happens calm down and here you're going to be sitting you're not going to lay down yet you're going to be sitting with your eyes closed and you can also you know, listen to some music that calms you down or you can simply be in silence and in that state after you have cried after you have moved after you have felt anger and grief and everything you're gonna feel more like uh, settled inside. And the meaning of this third part is to listen. And any information that comes to you in that third part, you're gonna write it down in your notebook. So I remember many, many years ago, I had this information that said, you need to write a book. And you know, I remember when I wrote it down and I was saying, I don't have time to write a book. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm too busy with my kids and my work and traveling. I, I don't have time to write a book now. And, and last year I wrote my book. And it's sometimes information about things that are going to happen, trips that you're going to take, people that you're going to meet. So write everything. Write everything and just leave it there. Maybe 
uh, there's some material stuff that comes like you know create a dish for the whole family or or find you know a new recipe you know to create in your kitchen or it could be as simple as you know drink more water during the day and I don't know anything that comes you write it down and finally you lay down for a little while and just take some rest inside this. Uh, those are the three parts of the meditation that you're going to do uh, formally. And the fourth part of the meditation is putting the information you received into action. And that's the real cool part of it. It's not that you realize something that you need to do and then you just forget about it and get distracted. No, it's about the focus of following the information if you find it useful, you know. Uh, of course, it has to be with information that is uplifting, that is elevating your awareness, that is giving to other people or, you know, bringing something good to the world. It's like information that affirms life, of course. And then you put it into action. So yoga is a uh, skill in action, that what yoga is. It's, it's not about us feeling very nice and we're connected and we love it and, and then we don't care about anyone else. Is how are you going to create something beautiful not only for yourself but for other people and it's beautiful now I, I see my colleagues they're creating circles of chanting they're creating prayer meetings also creating um, japa you know groups is it's very beautiful how we are all connecting in different ways in creative ways that we would have probably not connected unless this uh, huge crisis had come. So um, I hope you enjoy my music. Uh, my music is only a suggestion because you may find music that suits you better, but um, it's a gift from my heart to you. And we are all in this together and we are all finding creative ways to move through it. And whatever is coming for us, you know, we are always in gratitude. I think that's the most advanced practice of all. Let's be in gratitude for all this craziness, for the quarantine, for whoever is in the house with us, or if we are by ourselves, for our time of aloneness. Remember, aloneness is not the same as loneliness. Aloneness is the beautiful gift of enjoying your own company. Loneliness is when you're missing something or you feel you're not complete and, and the truth is that we are always alone and we're always complete and even though we may be sharing our lives with some other people, uh, ultimately we are uh, one in connection to the higher power. So please enjoy everything that is coming to us. Every single detail is important. Also, if you can find a journal and start a journal, it would be really, really precious after all this is over. <laughs> and once again, I want to invite you to my live satsang this Friday, uh, April the 3rd. I'm doing an Instagram live with Samadhi Studio in Mexico. And last Friday was very touching. It's, it's in Spanish, but uh, even though you may not speak Spanish, don't worry, you're gonna feel the energy, the waves of love. and. Uh, we were 60 in the group uh, last Friday, so this Friday I hope is around 150 people from all over the world and we are all going to join our energies to, to be in prayer and to you know, share a little bit of our energies. And I thank you, I thank you all for, for being there, you know, it's, it's very important for me also to, to know you're there and, and that we are working together and that we're creating something new. Enjoy my music. It comes from my heart. It's, it's been many years that you know, I'm a music lover and, and this music has a lot of intention, a lot of um, energy and also a lot of uh, wisdom. And this energy, uh, it's time to connect and just fully go into it and, and, and expand in the energy and the energy may, may taste like grief, may taste like sadness, may taste like anger, may taste like love like joy, everything, everything that we're moving through is, is precious. Thank you so much. Thank you for being there. Namaste.